So here I am in my superstore trying to buy a store coffee that looks dark roast. So I would avoid that. I like medium roast. That, that one is medium roast. Here's another one, Nabob, which is also medium roast. And both of these are on sale, $5.99. Hello everyone, welcome back. So this morning I went to the superstore nearby and I got myself two different coffee beans. Now, the first one is Nabob. This is a Vancouver, that is British Columbia made coffee. And this is Ethiopian. We'll open it some other day. So let me keep that aside. So let's taste this one, Nabob, which is the whole bean, medium roast. And here it says body eight, acidity five. And it has cocoa, earthy and smoky chocolate flavor um, so uh, this company has been there since 1897 so they have 120 years of experience in roasting coffee so let's review it now i picked these two randomly which was on sale i did not uh, read much about it but seems like this is a uh, rainforest Alliance certified beans, uh, th which means there's more than 60% of rainforest beans mixed in this. So, uh, seems to be a pretty good one, but we'll make an espresso and taste and see. So they say this is medium roast, but look at the color. It looks a bit chocolatey color. And it smells good. Can't wait to taste this. So I'll use Breville Barista Express and I don't know what to dial in, but I'll take 18 grams and then we'll see. Uh, we'll grind it at four maybe. So that's 18.03 grams of beans. So let's grind this. Before that, let me see the grinder. Uh, my grinder setting is at four. So I'll leave it as it is. I'm just guessing it would be four. Anyway, so let's grind this. So I'll use the non-pressurized single wall. Okay, it looks full. Now the 18 grams looks so full, 
in this potter filter maybe next time i'll use 17 grams but let's make using this for now now definitely i'm not able to tamp properly because it's too full okay so let's see if it can fit in okay that's not bad and i'll use two shot glasses to split it and let's begin so ready steady go Okay, the pressure looks decent but the flow is quick but it generated good crema that means I'll have to grind it more finer so I'm going to make another one and then I'll see So here is my two cup of espresso. Obviously the flow looks quicker, even though the pressure was in the range. Anyway, I'm going to taste it and see. Mm, okay, this is not bad. This tastes more a chocolatey, cocoa taste and earthly. Like they mentioned, it's more earthly taste. And it's more smoky taste. I could taste that smoky flavor as well. Uh, so I'm going to try and dial in uh, to a more finer grind and see whether I'm able to fix the flow of the espresso uh, because that was having quicker flow. Let's see if there is any taste difference after dialing in properly. Now I'm going to change it to be more finer. I'll put it at one. And I'll take 18 grams in and let's grind. Okay, I grind it more finer and, and, I, and I'm able to tamp it this time. Previously it was coarser, it was very hard to tamp. Okay, so let's make a shot. And I'll use the same shot loss. And let's have a closer look. And let's begin. Okay, the floor looks good. 
and the pressure is at one o'clock range. It's better than the other shot. And it generated nice crema. Okay, so without wasting time, I'm going to taste this and let's see if there is any difference. So it's time to taste these. Now these are two great looking shots. The crema looks nice, nice and foamy. So let's taste this and see if there is any difference from the other one. Oh, now this has more flavor than the other one. It has that smoky taste and it has cocoa and chocolatey. I could taste more better than the other one, the other shot. Now again, um, I wouldn't say that flow was perfect. Uh, the one reason I could think of is this is not meant for espresso because it's not written anywhere that this is for espresso. It, all it says is whole, whole bean. This could be used in drip coffee or any other type of coffee. Uh, that could be the only thing I can think of. But this is good. It, it grinds well. All I notice is the quantity is more. If I take 18 grams, my basket is almost overflowing. And I have to really tamp it down to get this pressure. And I had to change it back to one. Grind size at one. Uh, taste wise, this is great. For six dollars, this is worth a buy. So I'm going to make some latte out of that. So I took some milk just below the spout mark. I like to introduce the bubbles so slowly that's when you get the nice texture and slowly introduce some more that hiss sound that's ready I didn't do a good job there, I spilled a bit, but it's fine. I'll clean up before my wife comes to know. Oh, again, I spilled there. Okay. Okay, that's a good cup of latte. So I'll make one more quickly. Let me first clean the mess that I made. I spilled some on the floor.
So let's use the other cup that I tasted. The quantity is less because I tasted. So let's try some latte art. Okay, that's more like a tulip. So that's two amazing cup of latte. So that's two good looking cup of latte. I'm sure it will be tasty as well. Let's see. Wow. Now I'm reminded of lavazza beans, the taste of lavazza super crema, uh, because this is more a milder type of taste and a bit chocolatey when you make latte. But when you taste the espresso, you could taste more pronounced those flavors. But in latte, it's more mild because you are diluting it with milk. Oh. You don't need sugar or anything it tastes so sweet okay guys so i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do please click that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel if you are new because i'll be posting more videos like this related to coffee so i'm going to enjoy this see you guys next time bye for now